Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you are all fit and fine. Today we will see about the explanation of the movie Captive, which is written and directed by Savas Cristo. It has an IMDb rating of 5.3 out of 10, which is not bad at all. So without further delay, let's begin. So here the scene starts with an audio clip of Lily, a teenage girl who suffers from mental depression from the daily torture from her dad. She wrote in her diary saying that she is going from her house for good. Now in the next scene, Lily and her boyfriend Neil were out in the woods, where her boyfriend found some bruises in Lily's body and asked her if it was her dad who did this. Now we came to know that Neil is aware of her father's torture. A little later, they both walk more deeper into the woods and stop. Neil told Lily to prepare the tent while he is out looking for anyone or anything who is nearby. After a while, Lily realized that her phone was with Neil, and knowing that Neil hasn't returned, she shouted for him but no response, and she had to spend the night alone. In the next morning, Lily was leaving in search for her boyfriend, but she heard noises of hoops howling nearby. Hearing that, she was scared and ran from there. Not so far, she came across a house where she knocked the door. A middle-aged man opened the door and his name was Evan. Lily asked him for his help, but seeing the man's strange behavior towards her, she decided to leave. But Evan stopped her and locked her downstairs. Lily found some empty boxes and beyond those boxes was small room full of newspapers posted on a wall. Evan came downstairs to see her and saw her. She was holding a hammer. As Lily was scared, she told him to let her go out. Evan refused and his behavior was more like a father with anger issues. Lily was locked downstairs again, begging Evan to let her out. So in the next morning, it was on newspaper that Lily and Neil went missing. Now, as Lily was depressed and sad, she was overwhelmed with sadness how she used to get torture from her dad. Evan gave some food and mattress for her to sleep. Next day, Evan came and told her to lie down. Now, Lily thought that she was going to get molested. But to her surprise, Evan told her to do sit-ups. She tried but couldn't do exactly how he told her. So she kicked him and Evan went out of the room leaving her. Next day he told her to do the same and she somehow managed to do so. Evan was so happy for Lily's improvement and he prepared dinner for her. Later she thought of attacking Evan with butter knife but couldn't do it. Evan gave her some clothes and told her to run on a treadmill for 5 minutes. So annoying. Meanwhile Evan's brother Jeff came to visit him and told him if he was on his medication. Evan told his brother that Catherine came. Now, you might be thinking, who is Catherine? Well, she is Evan's daughter, who left him because of his behavior. Here, we came to know that Evan's mental health wasn't good, and he thinks Lily was his daughter. Jeff went, giving advice to go for a doctor and take his medication. Knowing that someone came in the house, Lily shouted for help, but Jeff already went. Now, Lily didn't have any other choice other than listening to what Evan says. Evan showed his daughter's room and told Lily to stay there, and told everything in that room was as it is when she left. Lily had to call Evan dead out of no option as she had to survive. While Evan was preparing for dinner, Lily took the opportunity to go near the main door to go outside. Just then, Evan called her and asked her what she was doing. She told Evan she wanted to help him in preparing dinner. Lily went out to her room and there she found her bag and her diary along with Neil and her picture. She also found Catherine's diary and started reading it. There she came to know how strict and short-tempered was Evan. 
since Catherine's childhood. Lily thought of an idea to read more about Catherine. She told Erwin she was on her period and needs some pets, thinking that this will help her to read the diary. Now, before leaving, Erwin told Lily to run on treadmill while he was gone. Now, Lily came to know that Catherine had a boyfriend whose name was Jared. Meanwhile, Erwin came home with Lily's stuff. Just then, Neil came searching for his girlfriend and asked Erwin whether he had seen her or not. Hearing that, Erwin was angry and told Neil to get out of there. Neil was shocked and went out calling him psycho. Erwin kept the picture which Neil bought for searching his girlfriend and fixed it in the fridge. Here, we came to know again that Neil was well and fine. Anyway, moving on, Evan told Lily his brother Jeff sent someone to stalk them. Evan told her to run on treadmill by force. At this point, Lily hit him on his head and tried to run, but failed again. Hmm, so sad. After reading the diary of Catherine, Lily came to know that Catherine's mother was killed on a road accident. Knowing that, she felt pity on Evan and told him she was sorry. While washing the dish, Lily found her picture on a fridge and thought who might have brought it. After a while, Evan told Lily he wanted to play hide and seek in total darkness inside the house. Lily was scared, so she pretended that she got hurt on her ankle. Seeing that, Evan told her to take some rest. She did this in order to read Catherine's diary. The more she read, the more she is interested in Catherine. Days went by, and this time Lily was allowed to run outside the house but inside the premises. The whole boundary was fenced with wire, but Lily was happy. She thought this could be her final chance to escape. As she was practicing to run, she went for the main gate. But when she reached there, it was locked. And soon enough, she was caught by Evan again. Now Lily had no other choice other than to practice hard day after day. As days went by, we can see some kind of bond was created between Evan and Lily, as if they were real father and daughter. Soon enough, Evan bought her a new phone on her birthday and told Lily that she had a running race after 7 days. Lily saved the number of her boyfriend Neil on her phone. Now the twist come. On the same day, Evan's real daughter came home to meet with her father, and Evan told her to get inside the house. Strangely, Evan didn't even react that she had two daughters now, and took it casually. Moving on, Catherine went to her room and checked her diary. There, she found that after the last page of her diary, someone had continued to write on her diary with the same handwriting. At that moment, Lily came inside and told her that now she is the real daughter. Catherine was shocked and suddenly Lily stabbed her and killed her. Soon after that, Evan and Lily went inside the car and we can see Lily deleting Neil's number. And that's how the movie concluded. Now, to sum up, we can see Lily and Evan both suffers from mental trauma and depression. And we can see and understand how two different worlds are forced to accept reality of their lives, which wasn't even real. Despite of their illness, they carry on to live with that fake reality, leaving everyone behind. Hope you like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. And for more videos update, smash the bell icon.